This is me with part of my hair done and I'm oiling my trumpet valves. So you take them out like this, kind of wipe the spit scum off of them, and you put valve oil on them. You make sure that it's coated so that no part of the valve sticks. And it's important to get it in right again because if you don't, Pardon? Why is this called maybe maple? And they consolidated school with Perry. Uh, you probably aware of how they consolidate them. Uh -huh. They brought in several surrounding schools and to get along politically, I suppose they'd name it uh, Maple River rather than just Maple. I see. That makes sense. I think your bangs are shot. Middleton is the curly capital. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that again. The Leibowitz sisters are about to prepare for their sound check. Let's watch. This is Terry Hansen. Can we just clear the lens a little bit with wing bits? Nah, he likes it foggy. You know, I'm glad you told us. But you know, when, when we hear that Yanis' announcement couldn't be understood, and that's just speaking, it tells us that there's a whole lot not being heard and understood. <laughs> no wonder the crowd is so quiet. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, excuse me. Sorry. This is what? Oh, the laundry room. Mrs. Lack? Another bathroom for another bedroom. Another bathroom. You see the patio? Ooh. Oh, this guy took for granted. You didn't think about your thing. I mean, a lot of mice. Yeah, you're starting to like it a lot. I mean, dressed up. Yeah. Not real ones, but you know what I mean. Isn't this beautiful? They had their wedding out here. <laughs> Witness this. There's one upstairs. And Terry too, thought it was the wind. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sure. Always. Not everybody did. Oh, I can follow you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is again. So there's Terry. Don't call me butter for nothing. <laughs> so Terry, what's your favorite orifice? Oh. <laughs> Well, first, first name that orifice. <laughs> yes. Jackson Hole is nice. Uh, and zooming out. In, I'm zooming in. Out. I don't think you can in, zoom in with a wide angle out. lens. Oh, oh, there's, oh, hey, say. <laughs> there's Terry getting bigger. There's Terry's eye out of focus. Stuff squirted out of my mouth, went out my window, and hit the mail. That's the wreath. The wreath. The wreath. Wreath, Terry. Bye bye. Tell me more right now. Lizzie's calling me. Yes, Lizzie. I need paper. Okay, Lizzie. Over in my big blue box. Over here. It's a good size, but I never don't think of that as, you know, too big. I think of it as heavy. That's not heavy for me. You see why you get into trouble, Terry? <laughs> So show me your new dresses. What are you doing? This 
just I'm like you know, a host or something, you know. What? It's a little five. It's like a staff. It's a theme. Oh. Five oh. lines, four oh. spaces. Oh. Nothing special. A little decollete here, which is new for the Leeward sisters. We don't usually have these things. Yeah, you don't usually see cleavage on yeah. the Leeward sisters. So uh, you never see cleavage on me, but you will on those two. And <laughs> thing up here, see? Again, the five lines, the staff. Nice couple of little swirl. Don't fool around. <laughs> hey, look at there. Yeah. Audience left. Audience right. It's audience left. We're suffering. Captain Solo, same thing. Stand up left with Maxine Solo. Audience left to see your tap. You especially are treating the mic, just put it as if it's not there. Um, I saw a lot of, this was the mic no, tonight, I see it's a lot of singing right this way, and singing this way. And so I think one of our problems is you just be still at the same into that mic and speak into that mic. Because no one can see it. They you usually, just talk to yeah, other I mean, conversing with Usually it takes forever to get the poker guys and we're up there. I'm up there picking my nose. Show with your hosts, Van Harden and Connie Murad. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Van and Connie show. Boy, are we ready for this show today. <laughs> today, we're going to have a good program for you. <laughs> the Leibowitz sisters are here today. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. There is a show going on now at the Civic Center Stoner Theater, and all I hear from people I know at the station... What a great show. What a fabulous show. You have to go see this. It's so entertaining. Yeah, and I said, to, somebody said out in the hallway today, what are you doing in your program today? Oh, the Leibowitz sister. The Leibowitz sisters are going to be on your show? I said, yeah. Oh, well. Everybody knows about them. And gonna, if you don't, we're going to tell you about them. They're going to be here uh, doing some singing. You get a chance to talk to them, find right. out all about the show. Should this be week, fun. And it features the Leibowitz, sis Leibowitz sisters. Did you bring a camera? Did I bring a camera? I want to get my picture taken with them. I thought you told me you dated these girls. No, no, that was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> just a, <clears throat> a joke. A joke. Well, they're with us today, and they're going to talk about their show, and we're awful uh, glad that you're here, gals. Now, let me get your name, the, all your names, first of all, because I'm terrible with names. I'm LaVon. You're LaVon. I'm Maxine. <laughs> I'm Patty. Patty. Well, good to have you here. When did you guys uh, first start singing together? Oh, when we were little kids. Little kids? Yeah, actually, when Patty was about two, Maxine was four, and I was six, we started doing trio work. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. LaVon's been together the longest, though. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, I like her. Well, she was born first, you see. Oh, I So LaVon was together first, then I was born, then LaVon and I were together, then Patty was born, then LaVon and I and Patty were together, but LaVon's been together the longest. <laughs> oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> now, the show that uh, you're doing here in Des Moines, can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's kind of a cross between the Andrews sisters and the Three Stooges. Oh, you know, and <laughs> it's all, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with the audience, and it's all music from the Hit Parade, uh, 1945, and um, before that. So it's, we just have a wonderful time. It's a really fun show. So uh, we hope you all can come down. Who uh, who is this you have with you here? Oh, him. Mm. This is our <laughs> MC, Yannis. Let me make room for Yannis. Yeah. Hi. Hello, Van. How are you doing? I'm very happy. No, no to I'm Van. I'm this Connie. Is Connie. You're Bonnie. Connie. 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 How are you doing? Very nice. Just I am fine. the host. You're the, the host yeah. of the show. And also, I do uh, room service at the hotel when I work when I'm off. I, oh, is that right? Yeah. You're kind of multi-purpose here. Yeah, I have multi-purposes. I notice you have an accent. Where are you from? I am from Trashia. Where's that? 
trash yard. Trash yard. T R A S H I A. It's in Europe. It's where East meets West in Europe. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I came overseas. I, I, first time I missed the boat. Second time I came over. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, it's good to have you here. Thank too. you. I'm very happy, Bonnie. Thank you. You like the show, Connie. do you? Connie, Connie. Connie. Yeah, thank you. Very you like the show? I, I think they're fabulous. I think they're very hysterical. Is that very, right? Very funny. Very nice singing voices and very funny. Oh, I'm very privileged to be part of it. Well, great. <laughs> well, I understand you're going to do a little singing for us today. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to do a number for you that uh, we do for special events here and there. Okay. I think you'll like it. It's a little commercial number. Great. Well, let me put the microphone here and I'll let you get to it. When you're buying cigarettes by the brand new light, take good care of yourself. Smoke a lucky strike. When you're driving in a car or you're on a hike, take good care of yourself. Smoke a lucky strike. I may have my say, please do. Don't delay. What's new? Start your day. Light up a lucky and you'll enjoy it. Very good. Very I'm just wondering, with the with the three of you, is there ever any uh, sibling rivalry? Or oh, you... no. No? no, no, not at all, not at all. You never well, fight? No, Mama just thinks of us all as the same. Where Shady, actually, I'm the favorite. So don't. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. <clears throat> actually, there was one little argument that these two had over a boyfriend. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. I didn't like him, though. I thought he was ugly. Oh, is that right? You want to tell us about that, or? Well, it was it was very simple. I had been seeing this gentleman who was a dentist in New York when we were living there, and uh, Patty, <laughs> by some happenstance, goes to see a dentist, and uh, all of a sudden we're dating the same guy. Oh and my! Oh my God! Wait, well, let's get her side of the story. I didn't know that it was the same Bernie that she was dating. He was just a dentist I went to. He enjoyed yeah. my uh, bicuspids, and <laughs> um, and the reason she didn't like him not because he was ugly, because she thought he thought she had horrible teeth. What? Is that he right? did not say that. That's what he said, he and that's what he, he did. He did. He did. Not, what are you talking about? He did too. He, he said you had big head on the So much for the sibling rivalry <laughs> question. <laughs> Uh, You're in control. So I can see that. She, well, yeah, the oldest has well, to take charge. Mama right. says I, right. I do, <laughs> and uh, so we ended up. I locked Patty in the basement for a couple of weeks, and everything was fine. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Tough, I can see. Yeah, I bet her. Well, that's yeah. good. How about uh, tickets to the show? There's something you can probably agree on. Uh, how oh, do yeah. people can find out more by calling the Civic Center? Right? Call the Civic Center. Stoner Theater. Stoner Theater. We're in the Stoner Theater. That's the little theater. That's not the really big one with all the big stuff in it. It's the smaller one with the big stuff in it. <laughs> okay, great. And you're performing now through the 25th. Have you ever been to Des Moines before? We've traveled through on a, on a train once. We were going through to, uh, on the way to, where were we, Boise? Boise. Boise. It was on the in way to Boise. In a snowstorm. In a really big snowstorm. Yeah, big snowstorm. Ice Ooh. everywhere. We had to stop and oh, goodness. stay well, over. You hit it at the right time, I think, mm -hmm. in the fall. Well, well, I, I hope beautiful. you've been well received in Des Moines. Oh, oh, oh well, everyone's been very nice time. and very friendly right. and very warm. <laughs> 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 the Leibowitz sisters. You can see them at the Stoner Theater at the Civic Center. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. You're charming. We'll be back with more of the Van and Connie show here in just a minute. That thing down. Put, put it away. Make it put Get it that down. out of here. <laughs> here we are. Here's Mary greeting us. Come on, Mary. Walk into the uh, Hi, Mary. Oh, 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 what a lovely <laughs> surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I hear maybe. Yeah. What, which one? I hear music. Oh, okay. okay. We met too many people like you. That's where he comes from. Not like, what do you really do? What do you really do in your real life? <laughs> you know, that's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can skip Because the, if you ask yourself, you come up with things like lumberjacking yeah. and weird things. Well, so if you yeah, want to ask it, go right ahead. Like we'll be fine. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, if I want you to be in character, I'll call you by your character names. And if I want you to be yourselves, then I'll call you by your other, your real names, okay? And you're Cheryl, mm -hmm. and you're Jane, Jane and oh. you are Liz. Liz. Yeah. <laughs>
it's clean. The form by people who weren't even around in the 40s. It's a wonderful parody of the old nightclub days and the swing music of wartime USA. That's World War II. The lovely Leibowitz sisters in their band, Bobby Argyle and Sox, performed just about every popular song in 1945, and they were great ones, if you remember. Similarities to the Andrews sisters are welcomed and encouraged. Of course, the Leibowitz sisters are named Penny, Maxine, and Lavon. And we have uh, Bobby Argyle and one of the Sox here today. That is really Terry Pants and Jimmy Eagle on drums. And I will just say that Patty is really Cheryl Hawker, Maxine is really Liz Gray, Levon is really Jane Allen, and that's the last you'll hear of them because we're talking to the Leibowitz girls. Your show is so unique, but I want to tell people if they're going to see it, to sit in the front row. Why is that, Maxine? Do people have more fun if they're in the front row? Uh -huh, we can see you better, and we can <laughs> wave at you, and we can talk to you, and we can shake your hand, and, and we can play. <laughs> yeah, they get into the act. Yes, come on out here. I mean, what nightclub would be uh, complete without a lounge concert, should we say? This Hello. Is, Hello. It's alive, isn't it? Yeah, it's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've this, heard so many good things about you. You have. All over Poughkeepsie, they say. Oh. I brought you a very expensive gift. What is it? Oh. A um, two-week salary for you. You shouldn't yeah. have. Without further ado, shall we have the people that sister say something? Oh, please. They sound very good. And, and Terry, and... You ready back there, Bobby? Okay, it's gonna be boogie boogie beautiful voice. That's my accent. Okay, take it away. Have fun. Those are red. These are white. Here's a sign that we do just right. So here we go, and you won't regret it. Navigator. Oh. We're going east, or is it breast? <laughs> oh, Jesus. The cigarette gave me a rush like it was a needle tight. What the hell is this? 
this. Start tasting. What do you think? Oh, no, no, no. You leave that alone. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a basement, not a winery. What are you stupid? It is way cold today here as we visit the Amana colonies. We were just in Homestead, which seems to be a small colony. None of the colonies are more than seven miles apart. Um, and the businesses are owned by both private owners as well as um, she called the Amana something, I don't remember what she's, Amana, Amana Society. The Amana Society gets, anybody can buy land in this area, but if somebody's going to put a bid down on any of the land in this area, they have, they, the Amana Society is allowed to bid, and if they match the bid, they're allowed to have the land first. There is no law body here. There are no policemen. Yeah, today. There are no policemen. Ah. You want the information or not, I'll show up. <laughs> Come inside. It's a rain machine. It's a rain stick, you see, you, you do. <laughs> you turn it upside down and then it like, sounds like rain, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is, this is like a toddler. See what you do, it's a plate with your fingers like this. Rocky Road. Do you get it? Right. Yeah. Right. Here's another one. Oh, you think I need it out there? Yeah. Well, I'm just down in a man. I'm purchasing some <laughs> plum butter. It's just like very Christmas, and it's like very if you like. Is anything cuter than that? Frightened. This is a very frightening bear, isn't it? This is not so gross. <laughs> Miss Amanda! <laughs> Princess Amanda. <laughs> Princess Amanda. How about you, Princess Jimmy? Is this where the hand comes out and snaps you? No. Jimmy? Me. We're weird fuckers. I know. You know what this place is? I'll tell you what this place is. 
man of freaking colonies. You take all the cheesy crap in Iowa, you stick it in one, about three or four different little tiny little places, you stick all this cheese together and you got the man of, the man of colonies. That's what it is. It's like the cheesiest crap you can imagine in this place. Good food, we had a meal that you could die for. Same in the other fun places we went. Not even good shit. I could see if we could buy some of the shit. That damn wooden salmon was 80 bucks. What's that about? We can make transportation known as the They believe in radar range. The cap was pigs is what they are. They got people coming into the colonies, right? They got people coming People keep, they stick around because they're waiting that one of these shops, they're going to say, hey, this is a good one. Let's good. It was worth it. But no. No. They stick around in the American colonies waiting for something good to show up. They're a bunch of hungry they don't got Man. no meat eating potato. A manna sucks. Do you hear me? It was a big waste of time, gasoline, and energy. Good evening. This is Ted Cobal. And uh, we have tonight uh, the Flannery sisters amidst us. And there may be a TV crew here to film the QA. Uh, there may be flash photography. And uh, there may be. Um, Reporters from the register, the Moon Register. Carvel, come on. Muscle woman. The bulk of it is. There she the is. Carvel American. What? I forgot yeah. the name of it. I don't know. Barbell Athletic Club of Greater Des Moines. <laughs> Tell me about the sisters who were in the audience last night. The Flaherty sisters. The Flannery sisters, hence flannel. And, and we, we flattered them. We flattered them. And I asked them up onto the stage and they sang a number mm. with the girls. They did send them a number. Did you get that tape, Terry? Mm -hmm. What's that? Did you get that tape? Yes, uh, Connie taped it. So how was your lunch? It was very good, thank you. I was craving some vegetables and that's just mm. what I got. Delicious. Mucho. Good. Hi, Terry. Would you Where are you? Down on that? Um, Des Moines, Iowa. At Winston's. The food tastes good. And he's here with his friend Bob. Bob. How's that soup? Here's Bob. There's Bob. We should get Bob in here. There's Bob. Hi, Bob. So you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna go down tonight. Nice. John and I are here. Okay. Oh. Do we get to do we get to have our original partners back tonight? Or are you gonna just allow that? John, you're actually gonna play tonight? John, no, John, baseball John. Don't have one. He's coming tonight. Enough already. See, I'm Pepper. Doug's nervous now. And making him very flausted. <laughs> he looks like he's got his finger up his nose from here. Look, I hate cameras. I can't do it with these shoes on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Terry Hansen. What you got there, Liz? Well, we have to sign this autograph. Oh, look, birthday cards. That's sweet.
So this is Randy, yeah. our bass player. Hi, Randy. How you doing, Terry? Good. How are you doing? Real good. Enjoyed the show. Enough, enough light on me. Oh, this is fine. This is our drummer. Right. Now, well, what is your name again? It's Jimmy England. Really oh, is what it is. Uh, Jimmy. Right. Yeah. So how long have you been playing drums, Jimmy? Years, like about 25 years. But I started when I was one year old, really. My, my father used to like, give me drumsticks and I'd tap on everything, quite frankly. These are, my, these are very special drums to me. See, they're, they're like Walt Disney gave them to me. Look at, you can see a little bit like uh, Daffy Duck and uh, Mickey when they were babies, right? Really? See that? Yeah. What have you got to sell there, Giannis? A mug? Sweaty shirts? T shirts? Photographs and pictures. Photographs and coffee cups. I have to be ready here. Do I have any boogers? Do I could look look up? You do that as their host. Yeah, there was a fire over there. What is it? Yes. Now the real last action. Zero strategy on the 